roofs and garages that have collapsed today under the weight of all that heavy wet snow today. It just keeps coming. Jim Spiewak joining us live. And Jim, the danger is not leaving anytime soon with more snow overnight tonight. And it's getting really gusty out here. I can barely keep my eyes open right now. It's reminiscent of basically like the middle of winter. And all of this snow piling up is really wreaking a lot of havoc on homes. It was starting to bow like last week. We saw it like, so, ooh, that's coming down. As spring sweeps through Park City in the form of a winter storm, some residents are facing some serious damage. The shed, not so much in the back. Lost it about three weeks ago. It's crazy. The Park City Fire Department responded today to three collapsed structures because of heavy snow and ice buildup. Ed Parisian lives next door to one of those homes. I've been here 17 years. No friends that have been here 30 years, and this is... This is the big one. <laughs> a garage collapsed on Gorgoza Avenue and a chimney collapsed on Norfolk Avenue. Fortunately, no one was hurt. It's scary stuff when it falls, makes a loud noise, whole building shakes. Jake Dewey lives next door to one of the damaged homes. A lot of neighbors, there have been people, you know, they've had crews come in and push the snow off the roof and haul it away, but these guys did not next door. He's had to be very proactive this year to clear snow for safety reasons. Yeah, we're about 12 feet of snow in the, uh, in the alleyway, completely over. When you walk up the alleyway, you're looking in the windows of the second story apartment. And the windows on the lower levels snowed in. We've dug holes so you can get out if there was to be a fire or something. Today, Park City's fire chief asked people not to take chances. Keep their home and surroundings safe by clearing away accumulation. And even though people love their snow in Park City. We're done. We're done, people. <laughs> Park City says no more. <laughs> And that guy loves to ski, and even he says he's really kind of had enough of it. Now, the chief out in Park City is also recommending folks to just be mindful that there can still be roof avalanches. So be very, very careful about that, especially as, as you can see, the snow is still coming down. We're reporting live tonight. We're going to go thaw out. Jim Spiewak, KUTV2 News. I think a lot of people agree with him tonight. Mm -hmm. They're ready to be done with this. Well, in the